Hello and welcome to this video about how to get rid of anxiety. So what is anxiety? Well, uh, you know how it feels, and but what's actually technically going on? Well, when we have anxiety, it's basically an overdrive of the mind. The mind and the thoughts get rapid and thoughts get on top of thoughts and the speed of thinking speeds up and more information comes in <clears throat> and the mind goes crazy. And when that happens, you know, when you're not just a mind, you're also body and feelings and thoughts and memories, your whole package, aren't you? So when your mind starts getting rapid, it triggers your whole system. It triggers your autonomic system, your autonomic nervous system, and your whole body will react to that. And the body will react to what you're thinking. So for the first stage, your mind is getting uh, full of thought and overdrive. And then the body starts doing the same thing. Your heart might start racing faster. You start feeling it in your chest. You start getting sweaty. Your palms getting sweaty. The feelings of panic can come overwhelming over you. And the muscles get tight and the blood starts pumping. So when that starts happening, it's sending a kind of confirmation back to the mind that, yes, everything's going overdrive here, something's wrong. And the whole system goes into panic. And the autonomic nervous system is the same system as when you uh, touch a flame and you pull your hand back quick. So it's not a thinking part of your body, of your system. It's a reactionary side of you. And it has no rationale. It gets, it's the part of you that gets yourself out of the way of the tiger, gets you to survive. So um, there are lots of reasons why we get panic attacks and it can be a number of reasons. It's very unique to each person, but it can be medically induced. So certain medicines can trigger anxiety attacks, panic attacks. And uh, the uh, other reasons can be things like trauma, things that happen in your life that have no perhaps even direct relation to you. It can be something that happens to you that you're you know, years later or months later, your system is reacting to. So shock or trauma in your life, maybe emotions get triggered and uh, stim overstimulated, overstressed in life. So there are all sorts of reasons what causes uh, anxiety for um, the individual, uh, but there are, there are many reasons. So how can I support you with the pain-free method? Well, there are two parts of the pain-free method that's going to help you. And the first part is to give you instant relief. And so that when the anxiety rises, you will know exactly what to do to counteract that and to stop it from developing and taking over. You'll almost be excited to let the anxiety come the next time because you'll know what to do and you'll be ready for it. I remember years ago, I, I gave up smoking through hypnotherapy. And the same thing happened, the same kind of system happened, not the same method exactly, but the same kind of system where I was almost waiting for the cravings to come so that I had these actions to take and they worked. And exactly the same is going to happen for you. And the second part of the pain-free method that I'm going to support you with is, is the, uh, the second part is to focus on the triggers, the root cause that's creating your anxiety, that's making it happen. And... When you're looking at that, then you're going to stop the anxiety ever arriving in the first place. So it never develops. There's no reason for it to develop. Now, your body's not your enemy. It's not going to do things to you on purpose f to make you feel dreadful. Your body, your mind, your soul does things for a reason. It's very, very logical. And when you tap in and clear out the root cause of what's creating your difficulties, then it stops it arising in the first place. There's no reason for you to feel have dreadful things create in your body. So, um, the, so there's two parts of, of this uh, structure of the pain-free method. And I want to tell you about Rachel. Rachel had uh, anxiety, which were coupled with panic attacks. And she went to the gym at 20 floors up in a building. And when she finished, had a nice gym. And when she finished, she, unfortunately, she had a an anxiety attack and which created panic attack, fast beating heart, etc. And she had to go down the stairs, she couldn't take the lift. So the poor girl, she had to, she ran, ran down all the steps, 20 flights of stairs, down to the bottom. And unfortunately for her, the last, 
dreadfully, it was <laughs> the last door to get out. The exit door was, uh, the fire exit was closed, which is, seems crazy, doesn't it? But there it was, it was closed, big old bolt in it. And the only thing that she could do was to go back up 20 flights of stairs and take the lift. There was no other possibility. And by that time, she was wrapped to ruin and um, the anxiety was just driven through her and it was starting, she was starting to become peaceful again. But the experience was absolutely dreadful. So once she started using the immediate technique, of the pain-free method, of addressing things as they arose, as they came up, then it stopped things in their tracks. And that's the first level, to give you immediate relief with pain-free method. And then as we started to look into what was the root cause for her, what were the, what were the real triggers, what was creating the anxiety and the panic attacks in the first place, what was really triggering it? And when we um, addressed those issues, and then the anxiety never really came back, you know, occasionally here and there, it does take time some, sometimes for things to kind of complete to flush out, flesh out, to flush out of your system, to get used to a new system. But um, so things can crop up now and again. It's a bit like your system, your body saying, have you really got rid of this thing? Are you sure about that? It's just coming in to check if everything's really changed now. And then it goes. So for her, she was having, she had um, a mixture of things in her family life, emotional traumas and issues that were un, uh, they were not sorted out, they were not um, complete, there were issues uh, emotionally and family-wise that were a bit higgledy-piggledy and they um, were not sorted out. And that was, for her, that was the root of her anxiety. So once we started addressing those with the pain-free method, that then they never came back again. Just made, As I said, surfaced a little bit here and there, but not really, they've gone. And um, so the same can happen for you and not just for anxiety, but all sorts of symptoms. And if you would like me to help you to get rid of your symptoms or your anxiety or other issues, other symptoms, you are very welcome. You just all you need to do is click on the link below and I offer a few calls each week which are free. And on the call, we'll look at what's happening for you. What are you dealing with? What symptoms have you got? And we're going to look at what's creating those things, what, what is the root cause for you and what you can do to get rid of your symptoms for good. I know sometimes, you know, we have symptoms for so long. Most of my clients have had symptoms for at least many months and usually many years. And it can start to feel like you become the symptom and, 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 and to think about not having it is almost as stressful as having the symptoms itself. But I want to reassure you that, you know, healing feels easy and relief. And imagine what things are going to be like for you when you don't have your thing anymore. What, what is going to be, what is life going to be like for you? So I can help you get there. Pop yourself um, into the booking below on the link and I shall talk to you in, in, a, in a call. And let's get started to get rid of your thing, get rid of your anxiety and your symptom. That's my wish for you. Take care. Bye.